After the hour, now President Biden cracks a joke but deflects questions about COVID when reporters press him over testing problems and broken promises. Health officials say most Americans will get COVID at some point. Folks, we'll talk about that later. Come on. Maybe a press conference with Mr. President. We look forward to that. Me too. Joe Concha is here to react. Joe, uh, what did you make of the president's speech yesterday and that answer from the president about a press conference? par for the course. What else can you say? The president has not had a formal press conference in more than 10 weeks. And when you think about everything that's happened, Carly, Todd, as far as build back better and the push around that, trillions in new spending, when you think about vaccine mandates, when you think about all this push around voting rights, you would think in a normal presidency that the president would try to sell that as much as possible. And that would include taking questions from the press, at least the ones that aren't handpicked, and instead uh, he's hiding behind his press secretary's skirt at this point. And, and by the way, uh, unless I missed it, did any of the late night hosts give Biden the Trump treatment on the current president not even knowing who was tapped to be his testings are? Because you get the feeling he's never heard of the guy before, and I believe that joke writes itself. I be believe we have that clip. Listen. Ah. To help uh, lead our federal testing program. I've talked, I've, 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 excuse me, I've tapped uh, Dr. Tom, Eng, I'm, I hope I pronounced it, Eng, 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 Inglesby, correct? Is that right, Jeff? Joe, how bad is that? <laughs> That, that is so bad. I mean, again, just, just picture if Donald Trump had tapped a testing czar at the height of a pandemic when cases are higher than they ever have been, and he can't even remember the person's name. Obviously, that person was tapped for this president. And, and as far as not taking questions, again, this is the most guarded, protected, scripted president of our lifetimes. You'll find Liz Cheney at Mar-a-Lago before you see Joe Biden sit down for an in-depth interview with anyone resembling a fair and tough journalist. Let, let me break it down for you one more time in a couple of seconds. He's done just 16 one-on-one -on -one interviews since taking office. At this stage of Trump's presidency, he had done yeah. more than 70 interviews, four times more. We'll leave it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a really tough press conference for, um, or a, I guess a speech for President Biden because he didn't take questions and a really tough interview for the vice president as well yesterday. Uh, meanwhile, yeah. uh, Mitt Romney was critical of the president's speech on election reform. And then White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki responded to that criticism. It's getting a lot of attention. Take a listen to this. I expected more of President Biden, who came into office with the stated goal of bringing the country together. I know there has been a lot of claim of the offensive nature of the speech yesterday, which is hilarious on many levels, given how many people sat silently over the last four years for the former president. Yeah, but Joe, Mitt Romney, who's far from silent over his criticism of the former president. Yeah, I believe he uh, voted at least one article of impeachment against Donald Trump. So to say that Mitt Romney has been silent, uh, it, it's ridiculous, right, too. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Thank you. See, we, we like fact checks in the middle of this, and I apologize for the error. Uh, yeah, uh, look, uh, she also said that Mr. Biden had used, quote, objectively true statements, unquote, on Republicans trying to take away a legitimate right to vote. At least that's what she claims. Look, his speech was widely panned, including by members of his own party. He got four Pinocchios by The Washington Post about another arrest that never happened during that speech, right? Look, the president has had the worst 72 hours of any you can remember. Uh, and, and here is the bottom line. He, his approvals clocked in at 33%. Stacey Abrams blew him off in Florida. His voting rights push was thwarted by members of his own party. His vaccine mandate for businesses was shot down by the Supreme Court. All the matter of two or three days. Nothing going right for the 46th president, guys. Joe, thank you so much for joining us. Happy Friday. Oh, happy Friday and happy, happy this guy. This is the uh, uh, baby shark that I talked to Rachel Campo Stuffy about last night. Apparently, it's the most viewed YouTube clip of all time. We Ten always leave it on a happy note, billion guys. views. <laughs> Ten billion views. Wow. We did a billion of them yesterday, Joe. Gotta go. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.